Hello everyone, it's November the 9th, 2023, and we are in the Prevo Retractable Cooling House in Irapuato, Mexico, where we are doing our strawberry trials. And so we've got approximately five varieties here. And here we can see Albion that was transplanted July the 5th. And one of the comparisons we're doing is cocoa green substrate and cortex substrate. And the cocoa green has better water retention capacity. That has positive and negative effects. We had a very wet July and August here with a lot of rain. And so the water holding capacity was a bit of a negative at that point in time. Uh, because in the retractable flat roof, we're not able to keep the rain off the plants. If we had a peaked roof house, that would not be an issue. However, once the rain stopped, the plant recovered nicely and gave us a very well-balanced plant. And so we can see that there's a lot of flowers being thrown here. We've got good fruit development. And the first harvest was around October 24th. And part of that delay was due to the effects of the rain. When we go over here, so these, this is all Albion. Here we have Cabrillo, again transplanted on July the 5th in the cocoa green substrate. And in this house here, all of the substrate is from Cortec. And so it's a, lo a little more porous substrate, and so that gave us what better water drainage during the rain season. Uh, but we will be using more uh, irrigation water throughout the season here. One of the very interesting trials that we're doing this season is that we have the Murano variety here, with 83,000 plants per hectare. And these plants were transplanted in July of 2022. And in that particular year, we had a very heavy infestation in the area of the Pestilotriopsis bacteria. And the Murano proved to be one of the most resistant varieties to this disease. And so what we did was in May, we pruned all these plants down to two crowns. And so these are actually a two-year-old plant and you can see that we're starting to get California-sized fruit And what was most impressive is that the first harvest started on September the 28th. So we've got early fruit, large sizes, and we can see that the plant recovered completely from the Pestilotriopsis uh, bacteria. And so we've got lots of flowers, a very well-balanced plant with no particular disease or insect uh, problems. We did the same pruning on the Albion. So I'm going to show you just the change in the plant response between Murano and Albion. So here we have the Albion that was pruned to two, pruned to two crowns and here's the Murano. And the Albion is a very strong plant, large crowns, no particular disease or insect pressure. But we can see there's a dramatic difference in the number of flowers and fruit that we have between these two varieties. So they both have been pruned, they're both two-year-old plants, um, but the Murano just has shown a much better response to the pruning. We are getting good sized fruit and good bricks on the Albion, but just a much later response to the first flowering. So this is a kind of an interesting trial because maybe we can, you know, get two-year-old plants to get an earlier harvest. And uh, we will follow this trial through the season and give you further updates. And in this house here, we have the center walkway for the automatic spray machines. And we can see that this Albion was transplanted on August the 2nd and we're using the Cortex substrate. And again, we can see the plants are extremely healthy and we're starting to get good sizes. And the first harvest was at the end of October this year. 
So part of the goal here, obviously, is not just to get early fruit, but also to get that California sized berry. And so the ability to open and close the roof, get the high sunlight on the plants in the morning, and then protect the plants in the middle of the daytime when we have high radiation. Even though it's November the 9th, uh, one day ago, we were measuring fruit temperatures in the sun of 38 degrees Celsius. And so this is where the retractable cooling roof is giving us a huge advantage because we're able to lower the leaf temperature from around 35 down to 28 and drop the fruit temperature down so we can prevent losses from sunburn. So we'll give you some more updates later on in the season, but we're off to a really nice start.